Yo, 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 what is up, guys? This is Man in the Canada Super Pig Man here today with another video. And today we're going to be talking about some more Kenshi theories. This is going to be another episode of Kenshi theories slash Lauren type of thing. And we're going to keep talking about the terrain, but mainly two people or two types of people in Kenshi. And before I start, I just want to say sorry on the late upload. I know I upload like every three days. It's just I've been kind of busy. I had an exam today and then I have a huge speech due tomorrow. So, you know, we're kind of getting in that midpoint. Of of the year where everything's kind of getting pretty hectic i promise i'll start uploading a little bit more as the month goes on and stuff like that and i know in december it's going to be pretty tough but you know let's just let's just start this video instead of just rambling on i swear it's always like the first 30 seconds i have an apology for you guys because i love you guys so much but anyways let's get straight into this so i want to talk about pretty much the Western Hive and the Southern Hive. Now, I was sitting playing Kenshi, you know, minding my own business when a uh, light bulb went off in my head, and I'm like, Chris Hunt can sometimes be a little slut. And what I mean by this is sometimes he'll like hint things that are really subtle, you know, like the ones that are like everything in Kenshi lore is super subtle. Like, you wouldn't even know there's a story if you didn't dig deep into Kenshi, you know, it's not really on the surface scratchable. Other than what the skeletons say and what some people say, you know, that's like more like, oh, it's, you know, it's a kind of a rumor, but it's not really like looked upon as um something you would say or, you know, do anything like that. You know, like you wouldn't think that much of it unless there was books and stuff like that and people theorizing, also known as Super Pigman, shameless plug into my own video. Anyways, I want to talk about how everything in Kenshi is kind of hidden and subtle but we still found a way to extract lore, extract lore, extract lore. So I want to talk about pretty much why the, there could be more than just one other continent out there. Because we do know for a fact that there's probably one other continent other than the one that we're playing on. Unless you're one of those people that believe Hive were genetically modified and engineered from human beings. And I, I support that theory too. But this is a pretty plausible one. Because when I think about it, why... Would the southern hive come from the west and then migrate south, you know? There's a port down south, or not really like a port, but I mean like there's an easy access down south. And I'm thinking, maybe the western hive come from a western continent and the southern hive come from a southern continent. And maybe they both resemble what that continent had and what it, you know, brought to them. We just still don't know why the hive even came here in the first place. It's really unknown why. Maybe they were just venturing out, random explorers. You know, they're going to be a, a tighter conspiracy theory made that skeletons actually do know they exist and they just act like they don't because, you know, skeletons reset the memory, but that's also a lie. <laughs> that could also be a lie because that's what they say. But anyways, let's talk about pretty much, um, you know, the Western high being from a Western continent and the Southern high being from a Southern continent. Now, you can see this in their two philosophies of life. Pretty much look at the way the Southern high act. They act so aggressively it's impressive how ag aggressive they are and it makes no sense at all why they would be so aggressive you know like they don't live in that much of a dangerous area quotation marks because you know everywhere in kenshi is dangerous but like in reality they don't live in that much of a dangerous area if you really like look at it map wise and they also you know have a lot of numbers so they don't really need to be like that why can't they just trade and i think that comes from the southern continent on kenshi you know, the southern continent, like, that's where they come from, and maybe there is a lot of, you know, humans, there could probably be humans there right now as we speak, that are really aggressive toward the hive, and, you know, that's why they became super aggressive towards humans, and towards everything else, or maybe there's just, you know, a lot of fighting between the hives there, and that's why they're so aggressive, you know, the possibilities are endless, but something had to have aggroed onto them to make them aggressive in the first place, you know, it's, it's just... It's just not possible that they're not aggressive for no reason. Anyways, let's move on to the Western Hive that can be from a Western continent. Now, the Western continent makes more sense of it being more stable, but we really don't know why the Hive left there, and I think it's kind of hinted at in the North and the Fog Islands what happens to the Hive when they get exiled. I think maybe they got overrun by exiled Hives. And what I mean by this is when, you know, you kill a queen, the Fog take over the area. The Fog take over everything in the way even when you take out the holy nation which is kind of like combating the fog in the north when you take them out the fog start flooding into like you know the mainland and it's like ridiculous how many flood in but you know they just they just flood in 
And I think that's what it's, the Western Harvest trying to embody is that they got overrun by, you know, fog and that they're the last of their species and they kind of just moved over here and they showed us what their culture is, which is just trading and ripping people off. So I think that's where they come from. The main point of this theory is that there are probably more than just, you know, one continent out there and maybe just more than one landmass out there. Maybe there's multiple landmasses that we don't know about. Maybe there's a bunch of little islands that we don't know about. Because we do know that the Fog Islands <laughs> can have just been like, you know, river islands on which they called Fog Islands after the river receded and the fog took over from obedience, you know? And what I mean by fog is like the actual fog, not the, you know, not the, I like enemies. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. You know, we're out here theorizing and stuff and it's really hard to make this video so it would mean a lot to me if you could like the video also we're on our way to 1000 subs or almost about a we're like 70 away from 700 so pretty exciting stuff peace guys